Ellen DeGeneres visits Archie. Apparently, he has tufts of red hair. How does Archie have red hair? Since he's a mix of Megan's genes and Harry's genes, unless Megan's genes are not present. Ellen DeGeneres will be the second person who has visited Archie. Uh, before him, Jane Goodall allegedly visited Archie. And then there was Priyanka Chopra, who allegedly visited Archie. And Priyanka Chopra then came out with tweets saying she never visited Archie and she didn't give any gifts. So, uh, so when Jane Goodall visited Archie, remember she said, uh, Harry uh, said, we can only have two children. Uh, we, we must not have more than two children to save the planet. Okay, let's, let's get into this. Uh, he looks like Harry, talk show host Ellen DeGeneres re reveals how she held and fed, held and fed baby Archie when she spent the afternoon with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during a visit to London. And she went there with her wife, Portia de Rossi. Uh, little Archie would have been just three months old at the time of the visit. She was visiting Britain on a summer trip last month with wife Portia de Rossi. The generous defended royal couple and said negativity towards them is not fair. She also revealed she talked with the couple about partnering on conservation work. Here she is, you know, on her show, snuggling the baby. Check out her, her blonde hair. Look at how slim she is. Uh, DeGeneres said the boy looks like Harry and described them as the cutest couple. The most important thing is I got to held, hold Archie. I fed Archie. I held Archie. Here they are presenting Archie. Incredibly hard to see his face. Harry is holding him. I found these pictures very interesting, and that's why I wanted to show you. This is Portia de Rossi. This is Ellen DeGeneres. Look how different she looks with her. Her hair is now brown. She's gained 10 pounds. She has very open uh, body language, like a man. Okay, so look at how different she looks here. So Ellen, you know, they get like they work eight months and then they're off for four or they work six months and they're off for six months or they work three months and then they're off for three months. I find the pictures here very interesting. Look at how they're interacting. Look at how open her body language is. Uh, she's very aggressive here with the paparazzi taking pictures Pilots are always very in always in very good shape, I notice. And here she is. Here's Ellen with Portia de Rossi. This is a glamour shot. She's got her blonde hair. Look at the body language. They're not really inhabiting the same space. Uh, Ellen looks like she's invading Portia's space. Portia doesn't, you know, they, anyway, odd body language. Good day, YouTubers. Time for a spot of royalty. Let's get right into it. <clears throat> My printer is still acting up. I changed, I cleaned the print heads. I changed all the, uh, I changed all the printer cartridges, which are incredibly ridiculously expensive, as you all know. So let's get right into it. Ellen DeGeneres, she said she went and she and Portia de Rossi went and held Archie and fed Archie. <clears throat> Did this happen? Because uh, I'm calling BS on this. Priyanka Chopra allegedly did this. She didn't do that. Well, the whole deck just fell out. Portia de Rossi denied this in a tweet and didn't you know, denied all of it. Uh, but Jane Goodall said that she did do it. So let's, let's see, let's put Ellen here. Let's put Archie there. Did this happen? Did Ellen snuggle Archie and feed him and admire his beautiful red hair? Ellen, Archie. What's that 10 spades doing there? Nine diamonds, three clubs. Let's see what we see here. A 
Okay, and there's another witness, and that witness is Portia de Rossi. Wow, we're getting a weird focus here. I think the camera was confused by the fuzziness of this photo. Okay, what's going on with Archie? Ten spades. Uh, whatever was happening before is wiped away. Uh, the worst possible result. High tower, it's official. An official message. Twenty-five spades blocked. Archie wasn't there. Okay, Archie wasn't there. What do we have here on Ellen's side? Heart, good intentions, over, you know, appeal to the emotions for all the people. She appealed, okay, and five hearts reacting to circumstances. She's making an emotional appeal to the whole world, her audience. And she has good intentions. She wants to help Harry and Meghan. There's nothing here that is saying to me that Archie was actually there. Okay, what do we have in the shadow? Three blackbirds and Mercury. Mercury can be deceptive talking. Mercury is electronic communications. Twelve, three spades. Conflict with the electronic communication and talking. So a little bit of deception. Deception is showing here. I wanted to see, I wanted to see if I would see deception. I do see deception. There's deception. But Ellen has good intentions. She wants to help Megan and Harry. She wants to promote and help Megan and Harry. Uh, over here with Archie, there's no Archie here. This is just official communication, and it's not, it didn't really happen. Okay, let's look at another way. Did Megan switch out Archie for a real baby? You know, she brought in a, you know, I don't believe they have Archie. I believe that, and I've looked at this, and I believe that the surrogate has Archie and won't give him up. Well, these two fell out. Did Megan switch out Archie for a different baby, like a real baby, but it's not Archie? And this baby, you know, she's got another Archie on standby. Because like Lassie, there were like seven Lassies, and they would shoot one scene with this Lassie, and then the next scene with that Lassie, and... The Lassies all looked alike, but which one was Lassie? You know, it's a big shell game. So did she do that? Did Megan switch out Archie for uh, an actual real baby? These two fell out. All right. Handcuffs, roadblock, angel. This is a baby. Baby blocked. Baby blocked from being there. Seven and eleven, eighteen, five diamonds. Baby is blocked from being there. There's the baby's not there. Baby's not there. Baby's not there. The fox, broken chalice, broken relationship with. The woman and this clever idea, 14, four diamonds. This adds four diamonds. That's interesting. That's on the bottom. So uh, I don't think she switched out a baby. I think it didn't happen. Okay, I think that this didn't happen at all. This is another Priyanka Chopra thing. And I don't believe the Jane Goodall thing happened. They're, they're not showing anyone Archie. Okay, and if Archie was around, if there was a real Archie... Megan would be showing Archie off everywhere, okay? Uh, everyone wants to see Archie. Everyone will love to see Archie. This would redeem Megan's, uh, you know, it, she, would be, she would be an angel. Megan is an angel with her baby, and she's dressing uh, Archie in all kinds of different outfits and going to the, mo the finest stores and having coffee with friends, and it would completely redeem her terrible PR, so, she didn't switch out a different Archie. She didn't see an Archie. Did Ellen strike an agreement with Megan? You know, an exchange. You know, these are business people. And Ellen's business is Ellen and her, her, her promotion of herself. She's a Hollywood star. And uh, Megan's business is herself. 
Okay, she acts like a Hollywood person. She doesn't act like a duchess, and she's promoting herself. So did Ellen strike an exclusive interview agreement with, with Meghan? Hey, I'm going to say I went and saw the baby Archie because I was in London with, you know, my beautiful Portia, and, you know, y you agree that you're going to come on my show and give me an exclusive when you leave Harry. Is that what's going on? Yes. Yeah. We have the yes. Interesting. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is it an exclusive interview agreement? Such disturbing cards. We have the devil. We have the player. We have four clubs. Very opportunistic. A very opportunistic decision for the player, the actress Megan. And she'll do anything. Okay, that's the hidden situation. So 22, 26, 27, cross. And the marriage. Yeah. Okay, she'll 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 manipulate the marriage. She'll take advantage of this marriage in any way possible. So is this an exclusive interview agreement? Yes, for money. It's a secret agreement for money. Uh 1721 uh oh wow. This is this I this is one of the darkest things I've seen. This shows that Megan will uh, capitalize on anything. She's capitalizing on the marriage very opportunistically for money. She's going to do whatever to promote herself and get money. And she's willing to do anything. She has no regard for the royal family, no regard for Harry, no regard for any real or, or imagined baby Archie. Okay, there's no... This is pure. This is really... They'll do anything. She'll do anything. Will Ellen regret this later? Is Ellen going to regret, you know, saying that she went to see Archie later because evidence is going to come out? And they're like, well, you know, it wasn't possible that that happened and Ellen must not have been telling the truth and now they're going to blast her. Like, you know, they're going to go all Harvey Weinstein on her, which that's not the same thing, is it? Uh, will Ellen regret this later? It's amazing how, how many underhanded dealings we uncover in the Hollywood uh, circles. Really quite disturbing. Okay, is Ellen going to regret this later? Mother Earth, this can, Mother Earth can be a mother, okay, or just a solid situation. Let's see what the other cards are saying. It depends how it's aspected. We like the word that use the word aspect. Okay, so uh, seven and twelve, nineteen, five clubs, two fives, change, home, people close to her, people close to Ellen, sweet, sweet, sweet for the people close to her and the mother. A decision and advancement, advancement of the mother and the people close to her. There's no regret here. She's not getting, she's, Ellen is not being put on blast. She's not getting nailed for this. She's not getting nailed for this. This is, she's trying to help Megan. She's trying to help Megan out. She's, and, you know, by association, she's trying to help Harry out. Is the Archie deception <clears throat> uh, about to be revealed uh, by the mainstream press? Okay, because people are really on to this now. Uh, is the whole Archie deception, the fake 10 months, 10 or 11 months of carrying around that fake bump, it, ch it kept changing. It, kept, it would change by the hour uh, and by the minute. Uh, and sometimes she would be 12 months pregnant. Sometimes she, wouldn't, she would have a flat stomach the same day or the next day. It was crazy. Is this about to be exposed by the mainstream media? Because... There's a lot of folks who listen to, you know, the YouTubers, but the ma and the mainstream media listens to us. But is this about to be exposed by the mainstream media and all the Archie deceptions? 
and the surrogate. Okay, so finger of God reaches down and imposes its will. Is it about to be exposed? Connection. Outside influence and action. Snake. The other woman. Yes, there's a connection. The mainstream outside is going to expose the surrogate. It looks like the surrogate. The exposure is going to be the surrogate. Five clubs. So maybe the surrogate is going to speak out because the surrogate wants money. Man can be man or direct action. This could be Harry. Okay, Harry leaves. Harry is out. Uh, 13 and 8. 21. Harry's out of the relationship. So is the mainstream media going to expose this deception? It looks like the surrogate is going to be exposed. The surrogate from the outside is going to expose this relationship. And Harry's going to, he's going to say, that's it. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. The kitchen is too hot for me. I'm out. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, let's, let's review what we've got here. We've got a lot going on. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so did Ellen come and snuggle Archie and even feed him, you know, and, and, and tussle his beautiful red hair, which how does, how does little Archie have red hair? Okay, that's a recessive gene. If Megan is part of that gene pool, Archie doesn't have red hair. How's that going? How's that happening? Uh, that just seems like another impossibility. So what's going on over here with Archie? Earthquake, high tower, mustard seed. The message, it's an official message, and it's a disaster. Archie's not there. Okay, Archie's blocked, and he's not there. Archie's not there. Deceptive messages and a conflict. There's a real conflict between what they're saying and what they're telling you. Okay, that's the conflict. So Archie was not there. Ellen is all good intentions and sending an emotional message to her audience which is a huge audience. I mean, she's a change maker. She's a huge audience. Why not put Ellen on that Vogue cover? She didn't, but anyway, Ellen is, is a huge influence on popular culture. Okay, and she was just trying to, she was doing good. Uh, interestingly, she was doing good by telling untruths. Okay, Archie wasn't there, she didn't snuggle him. She and Portia, Portia didn't go to meet Archie. That's completely irrelevant because there were no pictures, you can't prove it. Okay, uh, did Megan switch out Archie and deceive Ellen and Portia? Oh, this is Archie. No, that was blocked. No. No. Uh, so 11 and 7, 18, 5 diamonds. Uh, that, that just didn't happen. Two spades. It, it was blocked and it didn't happen. So she didn't switch out Archie and deceive Ellen and Ellen is being truthful. No, it just didn't happen. Okay, uh... Was did did Ellen do this for an exclusive interview? Hey, after you, you know, this your your marriage is on the rocks. As soon as it's over, come and I want an exclusive interview. I'll do this for you. I'll scratch your back. I'll tell them I went to see Archie. You scratch my back. You give me an exclusive interview on my show. You know when you leave, Harry. Yeah, that's what happened. It's a secret agreement for money. Yes, that's what happened. It's a secret agreement for money. This adds cross, the permanent marriage. This is so disturbing. This devil will do anything in the public opportunistically to advance herself, even, even the marriage, anything, 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 anything. The devil will lie. The devil will steal. The devil will cheat. The devil will eat a live baby. This devil will do, it's terrible. It's terrible, terrible. This is very disturbing. So yeah, they, they made an agreement for money, a secret agreement for money. 
Uh, and that's why this is happening. And so, can you do good if it's a lie and if you're making a secret agreement for money? Is that really good? Irregardless of how Ellen feels about uh, Megan, oh, I, you know, Megan's in my tribe. I want to promote Megan. But you don't lie and steal and, and murder to promote somebody and pretend that it's good. You don't do that. And that's what we have. That's what's happening here. Uh, it's, it's all deception. Okay, will Ellen regret this later? Okay, it's all going to be exposed. Ellen is going to regret it later. Nope. She's just helping her friend out. She's doing a nice thing for her friend. Ellen is going to be completely unscathed. Ellen is just doing a nice thing for her, for her friend. Megan is part of her tribe. And no, she's not going to get nailed for this in any way, shape, or form. So isn't that an interesting lesson? It's lying. It's for money. It's deception. And yet, Ellen's not going to get caught, caught by this. Uh, Ellen's going to keep her good reputation. And a lot of people like Ellen. I like her. I like her humor. Uh, and I find that the, the pictures, the contrast of the pictures, you know, Ellen being off and her body language is, is a very interesting contrast to the Ellen that we see on television. Okay, because I really like the Ellen that I see on television, but the Ellen that I can see in those pictures that I showed you uh, before the reading, she, she gives off a very different vibe to me. She gives a very different vibe off. Okay, so is this deception going to be exposed? It looks like the surrogate, the other woman, is going to be exposed. And this is going to be it for Harry. Harry's going to be like, okay, that's too much. This kitchen is too hot. I'm out. I can't take it anymore. I'm not Edward. You're not Wallace. Okay, and that's, that's what I think is going to happen. So that's your royalty today. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide at Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please, as always, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.